large grey thing we were looking for, but a large brown thing. The wonderful thing about termite mounds though is that they give us a very different perspective on the animals that we see. Don't go running off now, boy. Okay, we stopped, we've stopped. I know we're a very subtle approach that we made there. <laughs> There's a figure that you would definitely not want to see bearing down upon you. An important lesson in making sure that you always check what's on the other side of the termite mound before you climb it. Because you never know what you might encounter on the other side. And a grumpy buffalo bull is definitely high up on the list of encounters one would like to avoid on a Sunday morning. Oh, he's up on the termite mound because termites, as you can imagine, when they dig up from the depths of the earth, they bring that soil up from underneath the ground. They bring with it all of the nutrients that have been sheltered there for decades. And that means that very often you'll find a good species of grass growing up on termite mounds, as well as some more nutritious trees. And just have a look. I don't actually even know if Chandra can get this other buffalo. Can you get him there, or is he in completely the wrong place for that bar? Things are a bit more tricky on our makeshift, Mahindra. Here we go. Just look at this. Uh, buffalo are, by nature, bulk grazers. In other words, they eat grass. Although, in times like these, their digestive systems just have to learn to cope with other things. In this case, a weeping wattle tree, which actually on its own is not even all that nutritious. And it just goes to show how desperately these animals are fighting for survival at this point. They, even if that includes changing their diet, not completely, but certainly supplementing and it's not often you get to see a buffalo's tongue coming out and wrapping around tree leaves. That's because in general, they don't eat them. They might, even in summer, nibble on the odd apple leaf. But it's very rare to see a buffalo targeting quite so enthusiastically a tree rather than a patch of grass. But then who can blame him? Because I'm not sure I would want to snack on the, the grass in its current state. Not that I'm a, a huge grass eater myself. But there's really nothing to eat, and it's not very appetizing at all.